Calme. Whoa! No way. bluegill on there see if we can't catch ourselves a nice bass on this bluegill ripping right through the grass right there nice healthy little bass Good one on the bluegill. Yeah, good one. Nice. Oh, you inhaled it. Sweet. Probably about a four pounder. Trying to get the hook out of this guy. There we go, finally. All right, guys. I'm on this little little bluegill swim bait. Pretty guess he's probably about four pounds. I'm gonna wait on him real quick though. There he is, zeroed out. We'll see exactly four pounds on the dot. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Nice four pound bass. All right, y'all. Another nice solid, nice solid uh, four pound bass right here. We get a good, good release on him. Fuck that up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 
I want to use it. All right, we're gonna switch gears here. Try for a top water. Yeah, I'm about done. I was about to say the exact same thing. I hate this spot, but I love it at the same time. Whoa! No way, as soon as it hit. Are you serious? I think so. I think he's still on there. This is crazy. He's been running towards me the whole time. All right. Probably another four pound bass. <laughs> yeah, actually maybe probably about a three pound bass. All right, a nice sized bass on the top water right there. Get a good release on him. here I believe this is day three maybe four seen a lot of bluffs over here I'm gonna switch out and uh, use this XPS um, shallow jerk bait or crankbait actually I think it's gonna get done there's a lot of uh, threadfin shad in here so this should work pretty good let's see Decent two pounder. All right. Still got a lot of fight left in them. Probably about a nice two pound bass right here. All right. Nice, healthy, beautiful bass. Get a good release on her. Oh, God, God. Nice. Hold it, too. All right, he's not big, but decent guy. He inhaled the bluegill, though. Inhaled the bluegill. Cool. Good size snook, man. Super skinny. He is super skinny. Try and get this hook out of him. All right, guys. Decent little snook out of this this creek right here. 
Not big by any means. Just a little guy, but super sweet to catch him this far up. We are miles away from the golf right now. Behind me is the river, which leads into this pond. I'm just trying to do some bass fishing, but hey, I'll take a snook any day. <laughs> Let's get a good release on him. All right, I really don't like doing this, but he's pretty worn out, so I don't think he's gonna hurt himself. I'm up to the F and Fierce, all the way back. So I'll get a measurement when I get home, see how long it was. Nothing, nothing really too crazy to brag about, but, oh, sweet to catch. Let me know when you're ready, little buddy. There he goes, guys. Ate a minnow on the way out, too. <laughs> awesome. All right, even though he wasn't that big of a snook, man, I mean, look at this. This line is frayed so much. I think this is 30 pound that my friend let me tie on of his the other day, so usually I'm running 40 at all times just in case of that because everywhere we fish there's no telling if there's gonna be snook and tarpon in there especially when you're just bass fishing so cut this off retie back up and see if we can get a bigger one 